Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my finished 14 by Valentine's Day or Liz the Project Pan. I have finished one, two, three, four, five more items since last time, so I'm really on a roll, thank God. Uh, first off, the two things that I finished up way early, I finished off this Revlon Nearly Naked Powder, it is all gone. I finished off this Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream, I used that as a hand cream, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, yeah, okay. It is all gone. And since then, I have finished up the cream shade in my Canyon Classics Quad from Physicians Formula. It was literally like four days away from being finished. I finished that on the 18th of December. So that is now done. I finished my second hand cream. This is the Locatan hand cream or Locatan, I don't know. And I finished that on the 29th. And I finished this on what appears to be written as either the 27th or the 28th. I can't, I scratched through it. It is the Urban Decay Velvet Eyeliner in black velvet. I got it all the way down and then of course the product actually popped out like they do sometimes, unfortunately. Let's see. Oh crud, these are in my empties and I don't feel like interrupting this to go back. I also finished the Jordana eyeshadow stick in Eternal White. I finished that on the 6th of January. And I finished my Soft Lips Cube from Soft Lips, duh, my lip balm on the 7th of January. It still had a little bit of product in the middle, but it was starting to scratch my lips, so I got rid of that. I also finished up another perfume. Was it in here? No, of course not. I finished off the C by Giorgio Armani because I'm working on these little perfume sample things and I'm now working on a La Vanilla scent. And now I can show you where everything else is. Let's see, uh, this is my Max Fix Plus. I started off all the way up here. That was last month, I am now down to here. So I really think that I have a good chance of finishing this in the next month. So I am not worried about that. The next two things I am kind of worried about, I have added a couple of things that I know I can finish in a month in hopes of getting to actually 14 products. I have this CoverGirl in Olay, the Depuffer Concealer, and my progress has been steady, but I mean, I've only finished up about half of it. I guess I was a little too ambitious with this one because this thing was mostly full when I started. So I doubt I will finish that. I also have the Julep Illuminator that is in the wrong shade for me. It is called Pick Me Up, and I've actually been using it as an under eye concealer. I've been alternating it on days with this, so I have no idea where I am in this product. It, it's always been kind of heavy because it's got like metal packaging, so hopefully I will finish it off, but using it as a concealer has been making me actually use it, so it actually works pretty nicely as a concealer, <laughs> but that's not what it's for. So. And it's like $22, and it's not my favorite, so I would not repurchase that mini review right there. So let's see. I have the Body Shop Body Butter, which here is where I was last month. Because I take pictures. And here is where I am this month. Let's see. I have been working on this side after I hit the bottom. I worked all the way to the side and have been going around. If I can remember to use this nightly, I will finish it. The problem is I cannot remember to put on lotion. Like I've been really bad about it. I've been good in like the past week, which is why I've made a lot of progress in the past week, but I'm, I'm just really awful at it. I just, I need to make a note to actually use this every night and then I will finish it. Now, the next thing I have no issue with finishing, it is the matching shower gel i quit completely blank let's see it was new when i started and i didn't use that much the first month because i was finishing something else and here's where i was last month and now i'm all the way down to here which is less than the progress that i make each month so that should have no problem with being finished another thing that i found a way an extra way to use that i think will help me finish it is this physician's formula argon oil and I was making like steady little bits of progress. And then from last month to this month, I went from here to here with the bottle widening as well. And what I've been doing with this, I figured this out from Starberry Sweet. She was using her Josie Marin Argan Oil in her bath and she didn't really like it. 
but I poured some of this in my bath and it's really skin softening. So I will continue to do that this next month. And hopefully that will help me finish it because I have a lot of face oils that I'm going to start using like that as well. I also put a couple of drops in my moisturizer at night, but that's not going to finish this anytime soon. And quite frankly, because I have so many facial oils that I've gotten in the past year, I need to find other ways to use them, which I don't mind, but I really liked that usage. Next is the premium quality hand balm. I use this as a foot balm, actually. And my markings are starting to disappear, but I started off there and I've made like little increments of progress. You can't actually measure it anymore by like drawing something on there. This is how much I have left though, still a lot. This is another thing that I need to remember to use it nightly, because if I would, I would finish it, but it's another thing that I forget to use nightly. I'm not very good with moisturization, you see. Let's see, the last remaining thing that I have before I go to the four, or actually three, two, there's two in one, but I'll get to that in a second, is this L'Oreal Everstrong Sulfate Free Fortify System Overnight Hair Repair Treatment. It's a mouthful. Obviously, there's no way to track progress, but I have been starting to use this again. I was forgetting for a while, and hopefully, if I can remember to use it, I will finish it this month. I only use a pump at a time though, because I think a, too, mu too much more than that would make my hair really heavy. Hopefully I can finish this. If not, I would probably roll it into whatever next project that I end up doing. Because so I don't know if I'm gonna follow up this project immediately with another one, but I will be doing, I think it's 17 by the summer solstice. I don't know, I might start that early. I haven't totally decided yet. Depends on what I put in there, honestly. And let's see, I have three, four, but three new things. I have this Burt's Bees hand cream. As you can see, I'm trying to get through my hand creams. This is the almond and milk hand cream. It's just this little pot right here. And I have already been using it. There's really, and when I started using this, it was filled all the way to the top brand new. But as you can see, I have gotten basically down past the initial like circle thing. So I've probably actually gotten to about right here, and I think in a month I can totally finish this. I'm a little bit better with hand creams than I am body creams because they literally sit right by my bed, and after I wash my face at night, my hands get really dry, so that's usually when I use this. The next thing is my Clinique Chubby Stick Mini. This is a baby tint in Pop and Poppy. This is the new lip balm that I've been using beside my bed. And this is all that's left. I've already used about half of it. I think I measured it about right. Actually, no, it looks like I didn't, but this will definitely be used up in the next month. Like I said, I'm just throwing a couple of things in here in hopes of actually hitting 14. Because some things like the CoverGirl concealer, I don't think that I'm going to finish. And lastly, I have these two counting as one because one is so low. I have these two little pocket bags. I have like five of these things and I never use them and I don't really use them. So I've never bought one. They just keep being given to me. Like I got this one at a baby shower and I think I got this one in an Instagram mystery bag, <laughs> but I want them gone. So I have been sticking this in the bathroom actually to make sure that I use it. And it was full at the beginning of this month. So I think that has really been helping. But this one is all the way down to here. It is the Fresh Picked Bath & Body Works Crisp Apples. I am a sucker for anything apple scented. That's why I picked that one because there was a bunch of them. And this one is the Modessa Snowberry Hand Sanitizer. This one is only all only down to here. This is I keep this where I put on my makeup and sometimes I remember to put it on. Sometimes I don't because if I just wash my face, my hands are pretty clean. And then if I go and put on makeup, I don't really see a point of putting this on. But if I just like say put the micellar water on my face and rub a little quick little bit of moisturizer in and then go put on my makeup, then I feel the need to use this. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!